The first step in installing the Datamax system is to determine where you're going to install each of the modules. In most structures, we typically place the main module in the electronics panel, and then we will place the LCD right there on the dash. Uh, if you chose to flush mount your LCD, you won't have access to the SD card slot. So we typically recommend using our remote SD module, which allows you to have a very flexible mounting location for that SD card. If you fill up your main module, which has room for four analog sensors, you can easily expand the system by buying our expansion modules. And as you can see on the Computech Dragster, we actually have two expansion modules. These modules can be mounted in a more flexible location, allowing you to have reduced wiring. Next, we need to install the sensors. We'll go over some of the sensors that we have on the Computech Dragster. First off, you see our drive shaft sensor. This has got an eighth inch gap, and we've got the sensor aligned directly over top of the magnet on that collar. Next, you're going to see the shock travel sensor. This gives us a lot of good launch data and usually requires a little bit of custom installation and is available in 4 inch and 8 inch lengths. Next you're going to see one of our professional pressure sensors and this is going to be in our trans pressure and you can also see that we've got our trans temperature sensor right there. Next we're going to move over to our oxygen sensor. Uh, this is going to be mounted inside of the collector which is perfectly fine. Just keep in mind you're not going to get any good oxygen readings until you're under full load because of free air recursion. We've also got our EGT sensors. Typically like to put them in the tops of the tube, but if you want to hide and make the installation clean, you can do it in the bottom as well. Next, we're going to show you the vacuum pressure. We have a remote mount kit because the vacuum pressure gets to vibrate in a little bit more than usual, so we've get, we supply you with everything you need to mount that. Next, you're going to see that we've got the water temperature sensor. This is one of our one-wire brass economy sensors allows you to get temperature pretty affordably and here we have our fuel pressure and finally we have our nitrous bottle pressure at this point the next step would be wiring all of your modules 